This video is going to show you how to segment a data set. So the first thing you're going to want to do is add a data set to your map if one isn't already on there. So since I already have one, I'm just going to come over here to the drop down menu, click on that, and then select segment. So here in the light box, I see a button to either add a new segment tier, or if I currently were using segments, they would appear right here. So since I don't, I'm going to click on the add segment tier button. One of them being qualitative, which is going to pull unique values from my columns, or I can do quantitative, which are a little bit more custom. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do each of those here in this demo. So I'm going to do qualitative first. So here you'll see a drop down that is going to show me all of the columns that I have available in my spreadsheet. So I can look through there and I could choose any which one I'd like. So I'm going to choose the division. So I'll click on that. And then if I want to, I can show a pin count next to each segment. I don't want to do that, and so I'll just click OK. OK, now you'll see that that segment has been created right here. And then if I ever wanted to go back and edit or remove it, I would just click on either the edit or the remove icon. All right, now I'm going to go back and show you how to create a quantitative segment. So I'll click here on the Add Segment tier. And then I'm going to select Quantitative Segments. And I'm going to enter in a name, which I'm going to call this Annual Sales. Okay, and then right here, I'm going to make a name for each of the segments. So this will be high sales. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to select here in this drop down menu which column I want it to pull from. So I'll just type in annual sales. I'll click there. And for my annual sales, I'm going to, instead of choosing equals, I'm going to choose greater than or equal to. And I'm going to put the value at 40. Okay, and then if I want to, I can add another calculation that would fall within this and I would repeat the same steps as here, but I don't want to do that. I just want to add in a second segment, so I'll click here on Add Segment. Okay, I need to give this a name, so I will call this Medium Sales, and I'm again going to select the Annual Sales column, and I'm going to say that it would need to be greater than or equal to 30, and then finally, I'm going to keep a leftover segment, which would essentially be anything that is less than 30, and I'm going to call that low sales. And then once I do that, I'll just click OK. OK, and now you can see that I have all the segments created here in this box. Now you'll notice a new icon which is appearing, which is the up and the down arrows, which is essentially going to change how this would be ordered. So in this instance, I want all the pins broken out into divisions, and then within those divisions to see the breakdown of sales. I could also switch that and have it be the sales first followed by the divisions. But I'm going to keep it how it is, and I'll click OK. All right, and now you can see that all the pins have changed colors because they're now part of a different segment. So in order to see those segments, I'm going to click here on this drop-down menu, and then I'll be able to see the northern, the southern, and the western. So let's zoom in here on the western. All right, and then I'm going to click here on this drop-down, and I'm going to see that all my high sales are one color, my low sales, and my medium sales seem to be about the same color. So let's go in and change that. We'll click here on this button, and we'll make that green, and then we'll click OK. All right, there we go. So now we can easily see what are our western low sales by finding the green pins. The high sales would be blue, medium, red, and this would be the same process for the southern and northern segments as well. And that's how easy it is to create segments of your data sets using MapLine.